you know, uh, uh, giving away uh, what they believe versus what the data is showing uh, is a challenge. And it is a challenge both ways for the manager and for the HR leaders also, uh, because sometimes the gut feeling plays out. The chances of a gut feeling failure is much higher than a data-driven decision making. If I go that path, then I'll say that uh, if I if I record a uh, you know a case wherein I am taking a decision on data and see how it pans out in the future, versus if I look at a gut feeling data decision where the data is otherwise showing otherwise, and if I see how it pans out, so I think both for the manager and for the HR, it is important that we are tolerant of both the facts create databases to believe what we are seeing out there and then see in a year's time, two years time, how does it play out? Also, I think the sheer fact that there is more data available for helping the manager to make decisions also is a point uh, to deliberate. Earlier, these points were not there actually and hence managers were making. So as managers become, are made more aware that there are possible more data points that they have at their discretion for the process of their decision making, I think then it helps. It is a collaboration. Data is in collaboration with the decision making of the manager rather than as a competition uh, to the gut feeling that they are seeing. I think this is the fundamental ask that the HR has at this stage that they should help managers to see data as complementing to the decision making rather than seeing that as a challenge to the decision making and the requirement of the environment in terms of higher transparency. I think this is the path that this will go uh, in the future.